Hey everybody, Icy Cat here. Today we're going to do the operator profile for Phantom Sight's attacker, Nuck. We're going to break down everything from her loadout to ability and all the tips and tricks when using it to make sure you know everything you need to ghost the enemy team. Nuck is an attacker with the Danish Special Forces. She's a medium two-speed, two-armor operator with an amazing character model that's nothing short of intimidating and spooky. Her loadout is a choice between the 612 SD suppressed semi-auto shotgun or the FMG9 submachine gun. The shotgun is quick to fire with 35 damage but has a low six-shell ammo capacity that you'll burn through quickly. But thanks to a drum magazine, it will reload fast. Because of the integral suppressor, it's nice and quiet, but even for a shotgun, it's got a pretty limited effective range. On the other hand, the FMG9 puts out 30 damage with a 30 round capacity and an 800 rate of fire and is probably the more versatile primary in most situations. It's also been given the new hollow sight from Mozzie's P10 Roni to give it a slightly different look and feel when using the hollow sight. Choice of secondaries is either the Workhorse 5.7 pistol with 42 damage and a generous 20 round magazine, or the reworked Desert Eagle with 71 damage and a 7 round capacity. The recoil mechanics for the Desert Eagle have been made less severe and it now has access to the muzzle brake or suppressor attachments for the first time, making this a much more manageable and effective sidearm than it used to be. Secondary gadgets like Warden have a complicated relationship status. Due to exploits with various gadgets, she was originally supposed to launch with claymores and breaching charges, but until the exploit fix is finalized, she'll have a temporary loadout of flashbangs instead of the claymore. So depending on when you see this video, she may have a slightly different secondary gadget loadout. The Claymore option is expected to return sometime during this season in one of the patch updates, and then she will lose the flashbangs for the Claymore at that point. Her primary special gadget is the Hell Cloak. When active, this serves a couple of functions. She becomes invisible to cameras and gains some limited silent step ability too. It's very much a combination of Vigil and Cavera rolled into one on an attacking operator. The cloak has unlimited uses and can be infinitely recharged. You don't have to wait for the ability to completely recharge to 100% before reactivating it. But if the charge is in the red, it won't let you activate until you get back above 20% at least. The silent step ability she shares with Cav is a more limited version. It only works when she keeps a walking pace. And in that, the two operators have pretty much the same reduced noise while moving. But that's where the similarities end. While Cav can sprint and maintain silent step, Nuck loses silent step if she even tries to sprint. Also, since Nuck is a two-speed, two-armor operator, she's significantly louder while moving out of cloak and while sprinting in general. Now, while the sound effect is not as good as Cavs for Silent Step, Nuck does get the upper hand in that she can use either her secondary or her primary weapon while cloaked. The main function of her cloak, though, is to become invisible to any defender cameras. She's also a really great camera hunter because she can safely expose herself to the camera before shooting it out without anyone knowing she was there. The effect is pretty much perfect with general movement, but certain things will give away her position. Items that scatter like papers or broken barricade debris will suddenly animate seemingly of their own accord, letting you know there's a hidden nuck moving through that area. Now, while pretty much all cameras can't detect her at all unless she does something to give herself away, there's an exception or two that can get a sense of proximity in the same way that Vigil causes those white distortion artifacts on the camera feed when he's close to one. Echo drones and any hacked Mozzie drones can see this visual effect on screen. Being hit by the effects of Echo's drone will not shut the cloak down at all, provided you even get lucky enough to somehow hit the target that you really can't see. The other way to detect her is through a variety of conditions that cause her cloak to become less than perfect on camera. You'll get these handy yellow indicators on the sides of the screen to let you know the cloak is glitching due to some action that's happening. One of the ways the visual disruption is caused is by the vaulting animation over any obstacle, like ledges, furniture, or deployable shields. Even repelling into an open window will produce the effect. Another thing to watch for is piles of barbed wire. Any movement through them will cause that same visual glitching on camera to an observer. Most other operator traps will do the same thing. Stepping on one of Legion's goo mines will cause the glitching effect both when she steps on it, as well as she takes damage, and finally again when she pulls it out but it will only cause the glitching effect and will not end the cloak. Surprisingly, even setting off one of Capcan's laser trip mines will not end the cloaking effect. On camera, you'll see the detonation and a slight glitch, but that's it. Likewise, contact with any electrified surfaces produces a similar effect. Elamines have no effect whatsoever. 
You'll see them detonate, but there won't be any distortion caused by it. The only trap that will really deactivate the cloak are Frost's welcome mats. Once she gets caught in one of those, she'll be instantly visible again on camera. Even passing through smoke grenades don't produce any glitch effects, or smoke's gas grenades will only cause the glitching effect and will not end the cloak. Most movement types are safe to use. Leaning and changing stance don't interfere with the cloak, neither does reloading. Walking is completely cloaked, but sprinting will cause the glitching to show up. Surprisingly, you can even shoot your weapons while cloaked without losing it like Vigil does. Now this will result in the glitch distortion, but the cloak itself doesn't shut down when you do it. Same thing with using a melee attack. It's just pretty hard to do much to outright disable the cloak entirely. You can even deploy your secondary gadgets and they'll just appear seemingly out of nowhere. She's also at least a partial counter to Alibi. When you pass through her holograms, you'll get pinged, which makes it a somewhat useful tactic to deploy the holograms on windows as both a block for visual line of sight and an automatic ping when they vault the window ledge and disrupt it. But when Nuck has her cloak turned on, she'll still cause the visual flicker on the hologram emitter, but there's no alibi ping tracking that occurs. Even if she full-on sprints through the holograms, no ping gets activated against her. So how do you counter her? Really, you can't do much about her ability. It's very hard to bring the cloak completely offline with anything other than a frost welcome mat. Even mute jammers have no effect on her ability. You can see we've got her boxed in with four jammers, and she remains completely invisible on camera unless she does something to cause herself to glitch. While the glitching itself can be caused by a number of things, from barbed wire to breaking barricades and more, it's a fairly subtle enough effect that, even though it makes it hard to nail her position down for more than just a brief moment on camera, as soon as she's clear of whatever caused the glitching effect, you'll pretty much lose her right away again. Her ability is very effective at hiding from cameras. Nuck belongs to a category of so-called selfish operators, in that her ability benefits her directly, but the rest of the team really can't make much direct use of it. Now that's not a bad thing. Plenty of other operators fall into this category too. What makes her unique is that as an attacker, she's almost better if pushing solo away from the rest of the team. She can let them draw the attention to a different area while using her ability to move stealthily through the rest of the map and keeping off the defender's radar until she chooses to reveal herself. You don't do much good being invisible to a camera if the guy next to you is totally visible to it. She can also be kind of an indirect anti-roaming operator, as it's hard for defense to get a fix on her location, and her silent step helps keep her quiet. When she does push the objective, it can be hard to tell what direction the push is coming from due to the intel blackout she can cause. Nuck takes some interesting mechanics that were only available to defenders so far and brings them over to the other side with her own unique spin on things. With the big increase in types of defender cameras of various types over the last year or so, it's become a pretty necessary need to counter for the attackers. That wraps up the operator profile for Phantom Sight's attacker Nuck. Now, if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest content as it becomes available. You can also follow me over at IcyCat25 on either Facebook or Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.